What is up boys? I'm finally back on YouTube and today behind me is a 2015 Evo 10. Today I'm going to be talking about why this car is still worth $28,000 in the year 2018. So the way I'm going to structure this video is I'm going to give you five reasons why I think this car is still worth $28,000. Some of them might be in favor of the car, some of them might not be in favor of the car. So this car actually belongs to my friend Luis. I'm going to plug his Instagram. Real quick before we get into the video, I want to talk about one thing that is definitely one of the biggest factors as to why these cars are still so expensive. They don't make them anymore. Be obvious, I feel like there's definitely going to be more of a demand in the future. So these things are only gonna go up in price or just depreciate super, super slow as we've seen with Evo 8s and 9s in the past. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I wanna say is that the Evo 10 is the most unique Evo ever made. The first reason I say that is because Evos have looked pretty much the same ever since they came out. Evo 10 is the first one to look super modern, super clean, like it looks totally different from all Evos. The second thing is that Evo stuck with that 4G63 motor, like all the way up through the Evo 9s. Evo 10 is the first Evo to ever have a different motor than the 4G63. Now, most people will tell you that was an awful move from Mitsubishi, but honestly, I give them some credit for going out on a limb there and kind of like trying to go for something a little bit different. I don't really think it worked out for them, but still, it just adds to the uniqueness of the Evo. It is the only Evo to have a different motor than the 4G63. All right, let's move on to point number two. Now, the second thing I wanna talk about is fun factor of this car, I guess. I literally did two or three pulls and I was like dying laughing in that video. I, it was just really fun. Like the last car that I drove that made me feel like this was that Mustang. I reviewed a 610 wheel horsepower Mustang. If you want to see that video, I'll put it up at the top somewhere. This is making me like just as happy. Like it's really cool. Yeah, just the way that this car built to boost, the way that the power comes on, it's just so fun. Like it's nothing, nothing. And then boost hits and it's just, I don't know. It's so cool. All right, so thing number three is the blow off valve on this car. So it's HKS blow off valve. Um, I've never really understood what they sound like in real life. I've never really like driven a modded turbo car, um, but it's just so cool. Like it's just a really fun thing. Let off the throttle, you hear it. You know, you shift, you hear it. It's cool. Like it's just a fun sound. So Luis said he's had this car dyno tuned. It has a Cobb access port. Um, he said he's making 314 wheel horsepower right now, which is pretty cool. Like that's a lot more than my Civic. That's pretty fun. With the all wheel drive, like I was saying earlier, like it does really pull. No torque steer that I have to deal with, like none of that stupid stuff. It's just, you put your foot down, boost builds, and then it takes off. It's pretty fun. All right, so personally for me, this is like one of my favorite looking tuner cars of all time. Like all the Evos, I know that a lot of people are like, partial to Evo 8s, Evo 9, stuff like that. I am gonna say that like I do like the Evo 10 a little bit more than I like the Evo 8s and 9s, just styling wise. I think they look really clean and like if you do a few little mods like Luis has done, like the wing, a um, couple other things, wheels, stuff like that, it can make it look really aggressive at the same time as looking super clean. So I really, really do like that about this car. Always like the way that these look. Before I start this last point, I do want to apologize for having another clip of me just sitting at my desk talking. Kind of messed up the last point when I was recording it, so I'm just going to go over it here. The last thing I want to talk about is the fact that the Evo is all-wheel drive. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, dude, what are you talking about, bro? Everyone knows the Evo is all-wheel drive. Yes, that's true. I know that. However, here in Illinois, in the Chicagoland area, all-wheel drive is a hot commodity. We get crazy winters sometimes, sometimes we don't. But having that all wheel drive, that little bit of extra grip in the snow is such a huge help. People are oftentimes willing to pay a much higher premium just to have all wheel drive than to pay for something a little bit cheaper and not have it. Having all wheel drive is a huge W in this area. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So boys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, get the heck out of here. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's been growing, it's been awesome lately. I'm trying to hit 1K like as soon as possible, boys. So just come through with that subscribe button. So boys, as always, I'm Yanni Knowles. You guys are the best. Have a nice day.